Good morning again, folks. Uh, we're back again in the van at the Castaic truck stop. And uh, I got my parking spot this time, so pretty happy about that. Today I'm doing a cyclocross race. Still got a little bit of a ways to drive to get there. So uh, that's where we're headed right now. So I have arrived at the cyclocross race. Uh, it's in Griffith Park near Hollywood. Actually, this is the park that the Hollywood sign is in. And uh, I'm pretty excited about this race because not only am I racing two classes, but uh, I'm actually racing three. So I have my regular bike, my single speed bike, and also I built up this wheel uh, for the fixed gear class. So no coasting. Well, we would check in and maybe do a little warm-up lap on the course. I'm parked kind of far away from the uh, the pits and stuff down there, but that's really the only parking spot they had. I should have gotten here a little bit earlier, I guess. So, yeah, we're gonna do a warm-up lap. I'll probably talk to you guys again after the first race and let you know how I did. It's, uh, oh wait. All right, well, I'm done with the races. Uh, I'll give you the, the lowdown, basically. Uh, in the geared B race, there was a lot of people. Actually, the biggest race of the day was that race. I don't know what place I got. I didn't really check. I know I didn't do too good, but uh, oh well. In the single speed B race, uh, I did a little bit better. I think I ended up 6th or 7th. Actually, I ended up 6th now that I think about it. So, just missed out on a medal in the single speed. In the fixed gear race, I got 2nd place and got this cool little medal, which doesn't look like much at first, but it actually is pretty nice. It uh whenever it'll focus. So, it actually has the name of the event and the place it has the California bear and uh, pretty nice little metal. In addition to that, I also got some new socks. I kind of jumped the gun on picking these because uh, I just they had these and some pink ones and some white ones. And I was like, oh, I'll just grab these. But turns out the white ones were Cliff Bar socks. So really wish I had gotten the Cliff Bar socks. But oh well. I also got some nice kettle corn made fresh today. And that's what I'm going to be eating on my way to go get some dinner. Because the only thing I've had to eat today was some McDonald's breakfast. And that's it. So I don't know if I should go back to the truck stop in Castaic Lake. It's uh, about a 45 minute drive from the truck stop to my race tomorrow. And I don't know if there's anything closer. So uh, I'm probably just going to go back there and get some meatloaf. Sorry about the no glasses now, guys, but it's night outside, as you can tell. Got my fresh clothes right here, and about to go take a truck stop shower. It is time for the big reveal. Beautiful. I'll give you guys a review uh, after I'm done. Well, that was a 10 out of 10, guys. 
I'm still really tired. I'm gonna go on to bed and uh, see y'all in the morning. Well, just realized that I still haven't told you guys what I'm doing today. So uh, I'll go ahead and tell you. I'm doing the toughest 10K in the USA. It's supposed to have something like 3,500 feet of climbing and uh, it's gonna be pretty tough. So it's also gonna be really tough considering all the racing I did yesterday and my calves are already hurting pretty bad. So I've been walking around to try and loosen them up and I'm gonna keep doing that until the start. One more thing I'm trying to figure out while I'm over here getting changed is if I should wear these zigzaggy socks that I got yesterday or if I should wear these red swift wicks with my red running shoes. Uh, that'll be poll number one for this weekend. So go ahead and vote on the socks and hopefully I can predict y'all's answer and uh, get it right. Oh, also... There's another option of some white ankle socks. I can't find them, but I do have those also, so that's another option. Just hit mile two and uh, hit the first big climb. I don't know if you can tell, but we're going to the top of that mountain. Straight up. So I'm done with the race. I ended up 10th place overall. I was definitely not expecting that. Uh, very tough race. I'd say probably the toughest 10K in the USA. Uh, I haven't done all 10Ks in the USA, but I'd be willing to bet that uh, this is definitely up there. It ended up being 2,000 feet up as well as 2,000 feet down. And there was no zigzagging across the mountains. It was straight up. Uh, very sketchy going up. Actually had to use all fours to get up. And almost crashed a few times coming down. But that's all part of the race. During the entire race, I was pretty much hating everyone around me. Uh, I got, just cause the run kind of sucked. And now that it's over, I'd say uh, I'm ready to sign up for next year. Well, I'm headed home now. Uh, I ended up second place in my age group. Just realized I forgot to tell you all that before. Uh, the guy who got first in my age group got first overall. So, not too disappointed about that. What I am kind of disappointed about is that they only give awards for first place in each age group. So, coming home empty handed, besides a finisher medal and a t-shirt and a number to add to the collection. So, not completely empty handed, but uh, it would have been nice to have something else to go home with. And I have arrived back in Shafter. 
my legs are hurting really bad guys so uh i th guess i just need to do some walking to fix that i'm also leaving this tuesday to go back to louisiana for the month of december and uh i need to bring quite a few things so before I start unloading the van, I'm going to start reloading it to get ready for Tuesday. Well, mission accomplished so far. Uh, the main things I wanted to get loaded were some bicycles and the free ride, as well as still be able to use this back bed because my mom is coming into town later on today and she's gonna be driving back with me. So need to have an extra bed available. As you can see, you got four bikes up in the front. The bed will still clear, so it should let down fine. And, uh, yeah, that's the big items. Well, Peter, I just saw your comment, actually, and uh, I hope these glasses are swag enough for you. Uh, I got everything unloaded. The next big thing I need to load up is my computer. So, I need to go ahead and make this video. That way I can load up my computer, because I have stuff to do tomorrow. And, uh, that's pretty much my only excuse. So... I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here, and you can just guess it. I'll be sitting down in this chair making the video that you're watching now, and by the time you watch it, I will uh, not quite be on the road yet, but uh, I'll be on the road soon. So, see you all next weekend in Louisiana.